Hello, everybody. Here we are up to another book in our daily Bible reading. We're up to the book of 3rd John. We're going to be doing the introduction today, but we're going to first open in prayer like we always do with Deuteronomy 6, 4 to 9. Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Echad. Baruch Shem Kivo Mahuto Leolam Vaed. Here, O Israel, Yahweh is our Elohim, Yahweh is one. And you should love Yahweh with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And have these words which I command you this day be upon your heart. And you shall teach them diligently to your children. And speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you retire, and when you rise. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand, and let them be frontless between your eyes. And you shall write them on the doorpost of your house, and upon your gates. Okay, everybody. So we are up to Third John. And the purpose of Third John is to uh, command... Oh, well, let's get my uh, little glasses here. Uh, is to command uh, Gaius for his hospitality to encourage him in the believer's life. The author, of course, was the Apostle John, and the original audience was Gaius, the prominent Christian in one of the churches known to John. It was written approximately AD, AD 90 from Ephesus. In the setting, the church leaders traveled from town to town, helping to establish new congregations. They depended on the hospitality of fellow believers. Gaius was one who welcomed these leaders into his home. Now, I can only imagine John writing these little letters here, and there's only three, but a whole bunch. And these were the three that survived. Um, but, but John was so caring to thank people and to encourage people. And it was a beautiful thing. So we have from John... A uh, great writer, the, the Gospel of John, then we have 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John, and then we have Revelation. And I'm sure he wrote a lot more that got lost in time, but uh, so blessed to have these special books with us here. And it says here, a special invitation or with a surprise knock. Company arrives with them comes the promise of, uh, of soiled floors extra laundry, dirty dishes, altered schedules, personal expense, and inconvenience. From sharing a meal to providing a bed, hospitality costs in time, energy, and money. But how we treat others reflects our true values. What is really important to us? Do we see people as objects or inconveniences or as unique creations of a loving Elohim? And which is more important to Yahweh, a person or a carpet? Perhaps the most effective way to demonstrate Yahweh's values to uh, values and Yeshua's love is to others is to invite and welcome guests into our house. For Gaius, hospitality was a habit, and his reputation for a friendship and generosity, or gener generosity, especially to the traveling teachers and missionaries, had spread. To affirm and thank Gaius for his lifestyle and to encourage him in his faith, John wrote this personal note. John's format for this letter centers around three men. Gaius, the example of the one who follows Yeshua and loves others. Diotropus, the self-proclaimed church leader who does not reflect Yahweh's values. And Demetrius, who also follows the truth. John encouraged Gaius to practice hospitality, continue to walk in the truth, and do what is right. Although this is a personal letter, we can look over the soldier of Gaius and apply its lessons to our life. As you read 3 John, with which men do, men do you identify? Are you Gaius, g g generously giving to others, Demetrius, loving the truth, or Diotropus, looking out for yourself and your things. Determined to reflect Yeshua's values in your relationships, opening your home, and touching others with his love. And the blueprint of 3 John here is 
Uh, the first part is Yahweh's children live by the standards of the gospel and then John's final words. So there's three main parts to this, this letter. Hospitality, pride, and faith. And these are the three things that are spoken about here within these three people. So join me as we read now Third John. Thank you. <laughs> 